Well, guys, it's going Adam from basically having cards, and here I'm again with another card opening today. We're doing something slightly different. I've been saying that a lot lately, but um, I thought I'd try some Yu Gi Oh cards. I found this 10 at a Target. It is the Ancient Battles, 10 of Ancient Battles. So, what comes in this? Three Mega Packs. Now, I don't really particularly know what's in it. I don't know if Blue Eyes or Dark Magician are in it, but. It makes sense considering the tin, but it's probably not. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really look up much on this, and it's been a while since I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, a very long time. I used to run a Blue Eyes deck. Well, more of a Dragon deck. It just happened to have Blue Eyes in it. Where I just had, like, I was an Armored Dragon, mostly. Stuff like that. But that was a long time ago. That would have been... God. Actually... I have my deck up here still. It would have been... This is my old deck. There's a lot of new ones in here, but mainly... I guess... Okay, no. It doesn't tell me. It just says 1996. So... It wasn't... <laughs> it definitely wasn't 1996 when I used that deck. I'll tell you that much. But... We'll get into it. So, it's not much opening. We'll get... Oh. Fancy. We get three big decks. Decks. We get three big packs. Put the tin aside. The tin is pretty cool. Um, one prismatic secret rare, two ultra rares, two super rares, one rare, and 12 commons. Um, I don't know what we get in this, but they are first editions, which slight, means slightly something. Straight into it. I can't remember. I can't remember if. Oh, well, actually, I don't even know. Gotta forget how small these cards are. Okay, Yugi cuts. Rich cut. Rich. Witchcraft again. A I Q. Ibisella Lutia. Arcjet Lightcraft. And I cannot remember what they are called. Link cards, I think. Yeah. I don't actually know how they work. I'd have to probably do a tutorial on that. And then we have an armory call. How do you tell whether something's a rare or not? I think it's just basically by the pattern. So this one looks pretty cool. It is a gravity controller. Okay, we got a gold one, so I think that's rare. Damn it, I cannot remember. Or a gold super rare. Ament Emancipator Risen Dragite. Thought that would be a dragon, but apparently not. And then Machina Metal Cruncher, which I'm guessing is a secret rare because it has that really cool hollow pattern. And if I remember correctly, gold writing is somewhat of rares. Like I said, it would be. What better? Speed Droid a Car Turbo. So I'll just do it like this. Um, Dogmatica. Dice. Dice. Speed Droid. <laughs> they always such, have such awkward names. 108. Ret Time Reviver Emitter. Okay, so I seriously don't know what the hell's going on here. Hmm. <coughs> I may have had a slight idea with normal packs, but this one has a lot more rares in it. Well, it was a lot, they were a lot more expensive for three. Three, but I'm assuming that one is my rarest. Okay, Deep Sea Sentry. Marinces Great Bubble Reef. Okay, <laughs> it's really getting. Link Burst, wasn't that an old card? Or was that Chain Burst? Mutually a fewer destruction. Dark Templar Ignister. I don't know if that was meant to be at Ignister. Rose Girl. Okay, and then we have Nocto Vision Dragon. That one is actually a dragon. Then we have Drytron Gamma Altin. <laughs> 
Grave Digger's Trap Hole. Okay. And then we have this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, Ayusa, the Earth Charmer, a movable. That was a nice one. I like that one. And then we have El Shadol Ab Colon. <laughs> really are going all out. Like I said, I haven't kept up with the meta of these games. Union Driver. Okay. That'll be just here. Uh, Dracoon Lamp. Infernity Doom Archfiend. Tri Brigade Standoff. Fury of Kairu Shin. And Jack in the Hand. Oh, oops, sorry. And Capricious Dark Lord. They do kind of come a little scuffed, these cards. So, I don't know if you can see the tip there. It's just bent a little. Okay, last pack. I don't know if I've gotten anything good. If I have. Leave it in the comment section because I don't know what the hell is going on here. I do have some Yu Gi Oh sleeves still somewhere, so I might be able to sleeve these up. I've accidentally bought them a few times when I've gone to get normal sleeves for like my Pokemon and that. AI Idol Reborn. <laughs> How cute's that? Rain Bo Bozu. That is the cutest of thing. Richcraft Unveiling. Ignastar, Witchcraft of Patronus, Bellcat Fighter, so it's just literally a plane. Heavy Forward, uh, Infern Infernoble Knight Captain Roland, he's pretty cool looking. That's just a normal one. Okay, here we go. This one is Gizmet Kaku the Spring Shining Sky Stag. And then we have Ad Ad Emancipator Researcher. Man, why is my phone not going too good? And then we have a Fusion Deployment. I want to spell. And then we have Virtual World Gate. Is that a Q? It's kind of, I don't know if you can see, but... A gold gilding? I don't know what the hell it would be called. Gold kind of looks... Much, so I don't know if it's a Q or an O, but I'm guessing it'd be King Long, Queen Long, and that's a gold one. So you put that there. <laughs> that's pretty cute as well. Melfi Puppy, Gluttonous Reptolphin Greth. Yes, Melfi. I'm gonna make a Melfi deck, or Mel. Yeah, it is Melfi. Melfi. Damnable Jar. Playhouse and Awakening of the Possessor. So, seriously, I haven't got a clue what's going on here. There are a lot of cool looking cards. The artwork's very hit and miss with Yugo. Sometimes you get really cool looking ones. Like, this dude looks pretty cool. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. Dragon looks pretty cool. Well, actually, it's not a dragon, it's a synchro rock. Um, these effect type cards are really sick. Sometimes you can barely tell what's going on, like with this one. Kind of. When you look at a real light and the light hits it, it's very confusing. But I'm assuming those were my three. Would they call them secret res? Is it secret res? Let me have a look. So you are there you go. one prismatic secret rare. Two ultra rares, uh, two super rares, one rare. So, what are these? Like, these are the gold, these are the same as these ones. So, they could be super rares. Two, they could be ultra rares. Two super rares. Can see a super rares. These are rares. Now I'm very confused. 
Okay, I've got three rare cards, so... Those could be rares. Those could be prismatic secret rares. Two ultra rares, so they could be ultra rares. Two super rares, and I guess these are super rares? I thought they were just foils. Two, two, two. Oh well. I'm guessing that the secret rares would be the ones that are worth something. Don't know how much, but I would have had the prices up already of what they could be potentially worth. But I might get into Yu Gi Oh! They're starting to look a lot cooler nowadays. I was starting to get a very, um, it was me acting like I've been doing these a lot. Uh, when I opened them ages ago, they were starting to get more cartoony than they were. Whereas now they look kind of more anime ish, I would put it. So that's kind of cool. But with that, we will end the video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. It will show me that you would prefer me to open some Yu-Gi-Oh cards more than whatever I'm opening. So likes do determine what I will be opening. If you would like to see more videos like this, click subscribe, leave a comment. If you want to give me a little hand on what, what's going on here, it doesn't really bother me. I do take uh, what everyone says um, into account because... I open so many types of cards, I really don't know much. I know about footy cards, I know a bit about Pokemon cards. Uh, I know about playing Magic, but I don't know much about their values or collecting wise. Um, but like stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh, I've been out of the loop for mm, 20 years, I'd say. So it would help, <laughs> it would help. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye. Thank you.